Good morning. I'm Dr. Derek Barron, hopefully as you know, and this is, um, I'm reaching from Practice Insider's Edge. Um, this morning I wanted to speak to you. I got back from my morning walk and there's a couple of things that were going through my mind as I was listening to a couple of different podcasts. Um, and it's really about how are you matching your message to the mechanics of your marketing. In other words, your, your patience want to hear a consistent message. And I talk a lot about, you know, what is your niche? What specifically do you do that you excel at? So is it that you're a low back specialist? Is it that you're a shoulder specialist, a knee specialist? I, I know you can treat everything in the body, but from a marketing perspective, I would suggest you pick a niche, create some campaigns, create a message, create the perfect avatar out of that so you can consistently market to those individuals. And that way, then we can find and make sure we have a perfect message. Then once we have a good message out to our audience and to our prospects, then we have the ability of fitting in the correct mechanics. So right now, because of everything that's still unfortunately happening a little bit with COVID, is I do believe the uh, barriers are being released. We have the ability to get back outside more often, um, which is great. Th there has to be a... a, a a consideration of what you're doing from your marketing message so your patients and prospective patients feel comfortable about what you're doing. So as I've done before, I'm going to do a little bit of a sharing of the screen with you so I can draw on it because I want to draw your attention to a few specific sections, you know, um, what has passed, where we're at, what's happening in the next 30, 60, 90 days, and then what's going to happen in the next three plus years to come. So let me share my screen with you real quick. So uh, as I'm still learning this software, I apologize. I'd love for the position to be in landscape mode, uh, but I don't have it just yet. So if you can, just be patient with me a little bit. So what's important about this is, again, we've, we've gone from you know this position over here where we were starting when the pandemic essentially kind of hit. And it's, it, it hit many of us hard. But what's happening is there's been a shift that's been taking place, and I want to see where you are in that shift, okay? So many people that I know, well, actually, if, if we look at what's been happening in the last six, eight, six or eight weeks or so, in the last couple of months, a lot of people have been in a position where their practice has been hit. You know, patients are coming back in. Um, it's hard to get new patients to come in the door, and that's changing for a lot. So there's a lot of people that have, you know, been affected very negatively, and they're kind of sitting in this little position down here where it's, in a sense, a little bit of a danger zone. Let me, let me um, grow this for you here. So in this area was essentially where people should have been putting a pivot in place. In other words, when this was taking place, whatever your message was and how you were marketing at that point had to, had to be a pivot. And the biggest one, which everybody knows, is, of course, telehealth. Everybody had to do some type of a consideration or make a major shift into marketing for your patients that are out there from a telehealth perspective. Um, what most people want to do is they want to consider what's over here in this positive zone in this area. You know, what's going to be taking place once we go past this little bit of a flip or an inflection point? I don't know exactly when that's going to happen. We're getting closer to it, but it's important that you realize that at some point in time, we're going to be able to hit this area and things will be somewhat back to normal and hopefully even better than normal, depending upon how you position yourself. So what I do want to do then is talk about what's, where should you be considering and what you're doing in this area right here. So this is the next three months of your practice is going to determine, in my opinion, the next three years of your practice. So what are you going to be doing now as far as a position? So most people um, are considering, you know, maybe two things. Oops. Uh, one is they're considering a rebound effect. So something happened. You have to rebound from what happened. You know, it's important that you look at that as it's, it's an option for good. The other one is it's a recovery position. So where are you sitting is, a, is a, an ability to recover from what essentially has happened. I hope you're in a position of good. If you don't feel that you're in a position that, number one, you essentially... I mean, if you don't feel as though you've made the correct pivot, let's set up a call to discuss where you were at prior to the, the COVID issues, 
where you're currently at and where you want to be moving forward. If you have put the position in place, but you're still having some of those sticking points that aren't allowing your current patients to come back in or aren't allowing new patients to come back in and you're in this rebound and recovery position, let's have a, a talk as well. Because no matter where you're at in this, I want to get you positioned appropriately moving forward in, in the next three months, six months, nine months, and in the next three years. So there are a couple of, you know, when it comes to mechanics, and that means essentially, what are you doing to get in front of those people? So the number one thing that I think you should be considering is what we call a reactivation campaign. So what are you doing to reactivate your patients that already knew you, already liked you, and already trust you? Do you have an email list? Do you have an SMS list? Are you sending that to them? Are you, are you sending a specific reactivate activation campaign, not to tell them to come in, hey, we're having a great offer on low back stuff. It's actually to just start a conversation. There are too many people that are still afraid, even though your doors have been open for most of you, but they're still too afraid to do anything. We need to get them in the doors. And there's a way in which we can do that. Another thing that you still need to do, like I'm doing right now, is Facebook Live videos. And I would consider starting to work on this message. Um, in other words, let's say you want to say you specialize in low back or shoulder or knee or headaches or pediatrics. What is that? So whether, you know, can you consider something that would be able to put you on a Facebook Live for the next four weeks? So four weeks of doing a Facebook Live. And it's 100% pure education, nothing else that you're going to focus on other than educating and communicating with your current patients and the prospective patients that are out there. I want you to start building trust with them. Then on the fifth week, what you're going to do is you're going to offer, you're going to provide them an offer to have a conversation with you. It's important that you do that because you want they listen to the path that you've laid out for headaches, how you deal with them, home care, um, stretches, exercises, what are other things that they can do, maybe foods to eliminate that they can help themselves with. But unfortunately, we know many people won't follow that, won't stick with it and don't know it or don't feel comfortable doing the stretches or the exercises. So you're the answer for them. So if you're in front of them for the next five weeks, it's a great way for you to position yourself as the leader in the community and for them to come in the door to start up, you know, again, maybe start up on a new care plan or start up as a new patient. And then a lot of the things that people don't do is what is called retargeting. So when you create this video or these four videos, uh, you want to retarget the people that watch that 10%, 25%, 50% of that video. Because if they watched all four of those videos, that means that they're very much interested in what you had to say. And if on that fifth video, you put an offer in front of all of those people that watched it, you have a captured audience and more than likely an audience that wants to take action on what you have for them. So again, most people are depending on where they're at. If you haven't gone through this pivot, by all means, let's have a conversation. If you are past the pivot and you're in a rebound, but you're just not exactly sure what to do, we've got some mechanic ideas from a marketing perspective that we can help. Let me, so if, if you're looking for some assistance, I'd love to offer it for you. You know, send me a message, comment below on this link, uh, send me an email. You can text me 630-491-1444. It's a, a platform that I use that, um, we can have a text conversation back and forth if you want to do that. So again, it was 630-491-1444. Um, I thank you for taking this time out. Uh, hopefully this will help you kind of start to get yourself in the recovery mode or the rebound mode. If you ever have any questions, by all means, reach out to me. I appreciate it. Have yourself a fantastic week. Take care.